Hi, my name is Dr. Jamie Guinan, and I'm an audiologist at Penn Audiology. Today, we're going to be talking about audiology, hearing needs in the backdrop of COVID-19, and how audiology is here to support our patients, both those who are wearing and not wearing hearing aids. With the COVID pandemic, there have been a lot of aspects of our daily lives that have changed. The one that has had the greatest impact on what we are seeing in audiology is the use of masks. Many of our patients that have had hearing loss for many years, have been using hearing devices, understand the importance of visual cues when it comes to communication. Being able to see their family members or someone's mouth and lips to really decipher and distinguish what someone is saying. And with masks, that's all covered up. We've lost those visual cues, and that's, that's really had a big impact on individuals and how they communicate, both with their family, their loved ones, or even the cashier at the grocery store. It feels a lot more challenging when everyone is wearing masks. With everyone working from home or a lot of people who have converted to virtual work or virtual learning, you know, the, the quality of sound, the interfering noise has really been an added stressor in some occasions that we're not able to, you know, distinguish or understand what individuals are saying in their meetings or if multiple people begin talking. Having this virtual setup is a new experience after having in-person meetings or in-person sessions for many years. Our audiology team has always stressed to our patients the importance of good communication strategies. We always recommend trying to communicate in quiet situations, one-on-one, -on -one, making sure the person has your attention on both ends of communication. And we also always recommend trying to have visual cues. And that's something that's not always possible right now, but that makes those other communication strategies that much more important, making sure that people are speaking clearly, that if you are speaking to someone and they're having a hard time understanding to either try to clarify or change the way that you're communicating to really make sure you're controlling as many variables as possible. With individuals wearing hearing aids, we are often adding a program within their hearing aids that's specifically for use when communicating with masks on. Something that tries to overcome some of the challenges that masks create so that communication becomes a little bit easier. The use of clear masks can be really beneficial both for individuals with hearing loss and with normal hearing. Having that clear window gives us a more access to the visual cues than with a fully covered mask if you're able to, to utilize them. Another challenge with masks is that many loop behind the ear, which is often where hearing aids sit in addition to individuals wearing glasses. Taking the mask on and off can also, you know, potentially become tangled with a hearing aid or make the hearing aid come off completely. We're often recommending uh, devices called ear savers, which for a mask with an ear loop actually brings the loop off of the ear and onto the head, trying to make it a little less engaged with the hearing aid so you have a little bit of a wider berth to take your mask on and off without having to worry about taking your hearing aid off. So just for an example of how to put it on, you can put your mask on, place this on the back, and then this can loop behind and behind so that now the loop is off of your ear and not as engaged with the hearing aid if you need to take it on and off. For our patients with hearing aids that have made the adjustment from in-person work or learning to virtual-based learning, there are wireless accessories that many hearing aids are compatible for that actually take the audio from the computer or the sound source you're listening from and stream that directly into the hearing aids in both ears, essentially serving like earbuds, but now these earbuds are actually tuned into the individual's hearing loss, making things sound more appropriate and more clear. And this can help, especially if you are working or learning in an environment that you can't control how much noise is going on, if there's children in the background um, that really try to improve the quality of your meeting or your, your classroom session.
it's wonderful that big retailers and stores are allowing individuals to have more access to support and help their hearing and communication needs. Here at Penn Audiology, we continue to offer comprehensive care in connection with our ear, nose, and throat physicians for our individuals that have an array of medical needs and providing services that make sure we are supporting the whole person. Penn has been on the forefront of protecting their patients, of protecting their employees, and continuing to offer excellent medical care. And we continue to offer audiology needs to or services to our patients that provides that well-rounded approach so that they are safely receiving their hearing aid care in a, in a setting that they are comfortable with and that they are familiar with. Since the COVID pandemic has started, we have seen a lot of adjustments within our audi audiology department. Uh, we continue to wear masks and protective equipment with patients. We thoroughly clean down the rooms before bringing a new patient into the room um, and requiring patients to wear masks throughout their appointments. One of the advancements that we have had with the pandemic is that we are offering more televisits or remote visits for our hearing aid patients. We actually have the ability via the computer to remote in to a patient's app on their phone that connects to their hearing aids and can actually make sound adjustments while they're sitting in the comfort of their home. This was especially important while we were limiting patient appointments in the early months of 2020. But even now, as we are welcoming patients back to the office, there are still individuals that are at higher risk and may not feel comfortable coming in. And that we are able to still serve their hearing device needs and make adjustments and changes at a time and a place that's convenient for them. I would really encourage individuals who find themselves in more challenging listening situations or, or recognizing that they're having more issues to get a hearing test. It is a really easy first step for us to, to guide what we should do next. It is better to be proactive than reactive. Let's start with a hearing test and, and let that guide us from there. For family members whose loved ones are dealing with communication issues or, or hearing loss, I encourage you to be patient with your loved ones, to make sure that not only are you speaking clearly and un trying to understand what your loved ones are saying, but really doing your best to make the best of the situation that you're in. Make sure you are speaking clearly, reducing background noise as much as possible. Make sure that your loved one has your attention and vice versa before communicating. So often we are on our phones or on our computers and when a loved one comes into the room, we're, we're not ready. We're not tuned into what they're going to be saying. I think that these small steps that we may not be used to taking can go a long way in easing communication frustrations. I often say too, if you are speaking to a loved one and they are having difficulty understanding, repeat yourself two times. If by the second time they are still not understanding, try to change your words, try to change the way you're saying it and see if that improves communication. Penn Audiology continues pr to provide comprehensive care to our patients from their hearing to their balance needs. We continue to strive to support our patients in evidence-based research and comprehensive care. We continue to offer these services and encourage you to come in and seek evaluation to improve and to support even with the ongoing COVID pandemic. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to look at our website for Penn Audiology. We're always here to provide assistance when needed.